Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So glad you showed up the channel today. Uh, of course, this is your central location for all things QuickBooks Point of Sale. We hope to teach you, help you learn, interact with you, and get you on your way to having a better retail store with QuickBooks Point of Sale. Today, we are going to be talking about the IPP350 EMV pin pad. Whoa, what is that? Well, that is this guy right here. This is your credit card pin pad that you can use with QuickBooks payments in QuickBooks point of sale. And so you can purchase this from either me or Intuit directly. If you're gonna be using QuickBooks payments in your QuickBooks point of sale, then you wanna be able to take a chip card where the customer types in their pin. So uh, if you are just getting going with this, I should mention that you can, you know, you can activate your QuickBooks payments right inside of QuickBooks point of sale, but I am going to advise you to give me a call and I can have my Intuit merchant rep talk to you uh, a little more individually about what kind of rates maybe you can get and they'll do a comparison and they'll take a look at what you're doing as a business and you don't just want to flick on that merchant button and turn on an account that just has the default rates. You want to talk to my guy and he can specifically tailor rates that are probably better than what you're just going to turn on in the program. So today I've hooked this up to the USB on my computer and we are going to get it connected to QuickBooks point of sale and you'll see exactly how to do that. Before we do it though, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there, I'll be looking forward to seeing you. You can ask anything you want about errors or how things work or training or workflows or request a video for this channel. We have some great dialogues going on over there. Don't forget to click that link. So if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe and you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. We are releasing many, many, many videos and I don't want you to miss them. So let's get to this. I've plugged it into the USB and if this can focus, you can see that it just says lane closed. And what that means is it's not having any communication between the pin pad and the computer at the moment. So the default screen is lane closed. I will also point out that on the back here we have the EMV 2.0 ready sticker. If you have a pin pad without the EMV sticker or it doesn't say EMV ready 2.0 then you may want to give me a call and we can talk about what we can do there because you probably have the wrong pin pad or an older pin pad. All right blah that was a lot to say. So let's go ahead and do this. Like I said, it's already hooked up to the computer, but QuickBooks point of sale does not automatically see it. We need to go on the file menu to hardware setup wizard. In the hardware setup wizard screen, we are going to go to pin pad device and we are going to drop this menu right on down to Ingenico Telium IPP 3XX series pin pad. Now I've never seen one from QuickBooks Payments that's anything different than an IPP 350, so I don't know why they did the 3XX. You're not going to find a 380 or 320 or anything like that that works with Intuit, so let's stick with the IPP 350. <laughs> All right, we're going to choose that. And then it's going to want us to test this out to make sure that it is communicating properly with the program. So we hit test pin pad and then we hit begin test. It says it's connecting to the pin pad. And let's see what we get on the screen here. It still says lane closed, but it's taking a moment to connect. Alrighty. Let's see here. It's going to come up in a moment. All right, now on my screen, you can see that it says, please insert or swipe your card. And so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my card in here and it is reading it as a visa. And this is just a test. It does say, is the amount of $1 okay? This is not actually going to charge my card a dollar. 
it's it's just kind of a sandbox fake charge and so I'm gonna hit yes now it says authorizing and it probably says it's approved and you can see up on the screen here the pin pad test was successful it's beeping at me asking me to take the card out so I will do that and there you have it our pin pad is approved pin pad is set up and talking to point of sale correctly the test was successful I can hit close and I can hit next and we could do any other hardware we need to hook up as well but we're all done we hooked up the pin pad and we're gonna leave and you should uh, stick around on the channel and check out another video coming out soon I'm gonna show you how to actually hook up your Intuit payments account to QuickBooks point of sale but like I said give me a call if you want the best rates and I can have my Intuit guys uh, have a conversation with you and I would send you directly over to them and uh, they would know you were sent from me so you get a little special treatment there my name is Peter with BlackRock Business if this was helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button down below if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave a comment and I do my best to respond back to you have yourself an excellent day bye bye